Hey everyone and welcome to my 1 in 99 and 120 smithing guide as voted by you guys. Here's a summary of it and the extras which consists of bonuses levels 1 through 30, 30 through 99, the expensive and cheap methods, and then you have corrupted ore, war bands, and portable forges. Clicking on the annotations we'll skip to that part of the video. Alright, so on the bonuses, you got the scroll of efficiency here, which requires 20k tokens, 55 dungeoneering, and 55 smithing. What this does is it permanently unlocks the chance of saving a bar when the item requires at least 3 bars. So in the long run, it saves you some money. And then for the full blacksmith's outfit, this gives you a 6% XP boost, but is only obtainable through Treasure Hunter. And then you have the rock armor, which requires completion of the easy tasks, and up to 2 and 3 which this gives you a chance of smelting two bars at once when smelting ores up to steel. You also have the armor 4, but this gives no bonuses to smithing. And then you have portable forges. You can join the French at portables, and usually someone will be hosting a spot containing them, so you don't have to use your own. But these give 10% more XP, and the furnace part gives a 5% chance of an extra bar, and the anvil gives a 10% chance of saving bars. And then for wilderness war bands, this occurs every 7 hours, and the XP scales to your level. And it's dominated by French chats though, so unless you have one to go with, then I suggest joining one on the forums. It's up to 120k XP per inventory, which is 25 supplies, which you can do this 3 times a day, which adds up to 380k XP daily at level 99. And this is one of the only ways I suggest actually getting 120 smithing without spending billions. And then there's Corrupted Ore, where if you're going for 120 mining, it'll give you quite a huge chunk of smithing XP. It's estimated that you'll get 11k ore from 89 and 99 mining, which is equivalent to 1.6 mil smithing XP, but this requires 89 mining and 89 smithing, and completion of Plague Zen in order to access Elf City. It's about 220k smithing XP per hour though, and about 150k to 200k mining XP. So on to the actual guide. From levels 1 to 30, you want to complete the quest The Knight's Sword. There's really no requirements for it, it's really easy, it takes like 10 minutes to finish and it gets you up to level 29 just like that. And then from 29 to 30 you want to smith bronze claws. This requires 2 bronze bars and you make profit. They're also 25 XP each. You need to make 54 claws so you need to buy around 108 bronze bars and I highly suggest using a portable forge. If you can't use a portable forge for some reason though, there's two locations I suggest using. Either the Edgeville Furnace, which requires completion of the rock easy tasks, or the Furnace and Lumbridge near the Combat Academy. And then here's where the guide splits up for expensive versus cheap. You have the expensive way, which costs either 196 mil or 240 mil. Both methods take only 61 hours though, just one is not AFKable as the other. And then you have the cheap alternative, which costs either 31 mil but takes 163 hours, we have the one that costs 99 mil, which only takes 92 hours. So for the expensive method, from levels 30 to 45, you want to make iron ingots 3 at Artisan's Workshop. These give you 240 XP per bar, and is about 90k XP per hour. You'll need 2,412 iron ore, and you can bring them noted to put them into the smelter. You want to withdraw them by choosing the item in the drop-down menu on the interface, and then smith whatever you want. It takes 4 minutes per inventory, and you can follow along the instructions for a bonus of 10% more XP. But this makes it not AF cable, and it's not that much more XP, plus it changes every so often. This should take you half an hour to get level 45. From levels 45 to 60, you want to make steel ingots 3s. These give 345 XP per bar and is about 150k XP per hour. You'll need 5,400 iron ore and 10,200 coal. This will only be creating 600 ingots and should take you around an hour and a half to complete. And then from level 60 to 70, you want to make mithril ingot 3s. These give 404 XP per bar and is about 170k XP per hour. You'll need 6,894 mithril ore and 41,364 coal. This will only be creating 1,149 ingots though and should take you around 3 hours and 45 minutes. And then here's where it splits up again. You have either the AFKable versus the non afkable Both methods are 220k XP per hour though, just one is cheaper than the other. And really I suggest doing the non afkable way. There's just many different benefits as in the pros and cons. As you can see in the pros, it's 44 mil cheaper. And you could also use portable forges, which increases your XP per hour and saves you money. And then you also have the scroll of efficiency and the rock armor too, which increases your XP per hour even more. And the only con is that it's not AF cable, but I mean, 44 mil, why not?
For the AF cable method, from 70 to 99, you want to make adamant ingot 3s. These give 568 XP per bar and is about 220k XP per hour. You'll need 86,600 adamant ore and 476,300 coal. This will be creating 21,650 ingots and should take you around 56 hours to get level 99. And then for the non-AF cable method, from 70 to 88, you want to make adamant ingots 3s. These give 568 XP per bar and is about 220k XP per hour. You'll need 25,692 adamant ore and 141,306 coal. This will be creating 6,423 ingots and should take you around 16 and a half hours to complete. And then from levels 88 to 99, you want to make adamant plate bodies. These give 312.5 XP per body and is about 220k XP per hour or even more. You will need 138,380 adamant bars and I'd highly suggest using portable forges with the portables French app, but if not, then you could use the anvil located at Farrakh West Bank. This should take you around 39 hours to get level 99 or even less with portables, scroll of efficiency, and all those other bonuses. So on to the cheap alternative now, there's two different methods to follow. Method 1 only costs 31 mil but takes 163 hours, and method 2 costs 99 mil but it takes 92 hours. So from levels 30 to 40, you want to make steel bars. These give you 17.5 XP per bar. You'll need 1,364 iron ore and 2,728 coal. Again, I suggest using portable forges with the French hat or buying your own. I'd also suggest using Varrock armor for faster smithing. And then from levels 40 to 99, you want to make gold bars. You're going to need goldsmithing gauntlets, otherwise it's not even worth doing this. They are obtained from the crest Family Crest, which requires 40 crafting, 40 mining, and 59 magic. They're 52.6 XP each with the gauntlets, and you'll need 231,268 gold ore. The XP per hour itself is 70k, but with Varrock armor and portable forges it'll be around 80k XP per hour. This should take you around 163 hours with rock armor and portable forges. And then another alternative is superheating the gold ore. There's still 56.2 XP per bar, but with a bonus of 53 magic XP too. You're still going to need 231,268 gold ore, but you're also going to need the same amount of nature runes. It's much faster though, adding up to 140k smithing XP per hour or even more, with an additional 130k magic XP per hour. The only downside is that this isn't AFK or cheap, but it's still worth doing, and it also only takes around 92 hours. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this guide helpful. Good luck in getting 99 spinning yourself, and subscribe if you'd like to see more guides.